Good morning, Daggy. Mm. Hey, Daggy. Your dog is going to attack me, guys. Good morning, everyone. We're making it here now. The Dallas Cowboys roster looks pretty good, but it's not over, guys. There could be some changes. I don't know what's going on with the situation with Devin Cook, but they say he had a great workout, so who knows? And the man they're releasing either Zeke Elliott or someone else, but I don't know. So, who knows? Um, so yeah, that's why I'm not going to be like, oh, getting cocky because it still depends on like, let's see who gets hurt or let's see who gets released in order to move that player in to the 53 roster. It should have been 80 man roster, but <laughs> and it was just a bunch of bitches. Anyways, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, the Dallas Cowboys have re uh, have traded Trey Payne Hendershot to the Kansas City Chiefs for a conditional seventh round draft pick. So here, say if Payne Hendershot gets more touchdowns or catches or whichever, it bumps to a sixth. It could bump into a fifth, fourth, third, a second, or a first. So yeah, who knows? Who knows? So now that's total, total, in total right now, Dallas Cowboys have is 11 draft picks. So which is good, but still, who knows Dallas might, might end up getting more draft picks. So yeah. Dumpster. Yeah. But who knows? It rained, guys. Finally. It rained. Again. So, yeah. Who knows? Let's see what the Dallas Cowboys will do next. Duggies! <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying. Yeah. Anything can happen, guys. Dallas, like I said, might end up getting more draft picks. I'll be surprised if they end up getting more draft picks. Um, the Dallas Cowboys have also been making more calls, so they're going to try to get more defensive help. So I'm like, cool. This is so great. Hola, Daggy. Yeah, but who knows? It's the... Let's see what the Cowboys can will do, guys. Now, my predictions for the Dallas Cowboys is the like record, record. 13 and 4 or 14 and 3. I know. Sounds crazy, right, guys? Realistically, I say 13 and 4. And they finally get over the hump of the repeating divisional champions once again. So.
so yeah and they finally oh my god this the they have a first round bye they don't play in, uh, against any teams until the divisional round and where it is Dallas has finally got over the hump and Dallas are in the NFC Conference hosting in the NFC Conference and beating whoever playing whoever in the in the Super Bowl and finally winning a, their sixth Super Bowl you, th you could think I'm crazy or anything but Doug is sleepy it's the because Jerry Jones saying, oh, I'm going to fucking go all in. So fuck you. I'm going to do whatever I can. Like, okay. Let's see if you can do it, you little old man. You old fart. So let's see how it goes, guys. That press cut's going to throw either close to 40 touchdown passes or more. And less interceptions, like around five or less. Five thousand yards. No fumbles. The wide receiver is gonna be lighting up other defenses like crazy. And then the defense, well actually, hold on, the running backs, tight ends, will be the same, but uh, probably the tight ends are going to have more rushing yards, and same thing with the wide receivers, more rushing yards for like, example, Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel, uh, CD Lamb. But I don't know, guys. That is should get Randall Cobb to have more to add more firepower to the arsenal of the Dallas Cowboys. But oh, hey, Ryan Florney, the rookie that everybody was talking about, that he's a mini Diz. That he was talking to Chris Carter, former Viking wide receiver. So I'm like, all right, we see how he does. Let's see how it goes. Um, the defense, oh god. They're gonna get a bunch of sacks, interceptions, forced fumbles. Probably shutting down some teams. One or twice or three times. Special teams, probably like a one or two kickoff returns. When us, uh, pun return for a touchdown, kickoff return for a touchdown. So, yeah. So, yeah. Who knows? I may not get any more. That's the, the Dallas Cowboys. I gonna be fine. Now, now that's out of the way. Nah. Now Donald Trump is too much of a chicken shit that he doesn't want to debate. Um, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. So I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, ay, ay, ay.
what a chicken shit he is. Yeah. Speaking of, of politics, what well, is it going to have to do with politics better? Yeah. The Nintendo Direct? Huh. Pretty great ones. Not the games I was expecting, but hey, like I always said, I'm willing to try new games. I can't believe they're going to bring that Yakuza game to the Switch. I'm like, oh, wow. I would have been surprised if they bring the other games, too. Same thing when they bought Metal Gear Solid and Grand Theft Auto. The Batman. Arkham Trilogy. So, yeah. Anything can happen. So I'm like, yeah. I thought they're gonna show like the new Nintendo Switch uh, part two. I mean Switch, but I guess not. Hi, Dougie. Hi, Dougie thinks I'm gonna hit him, but I'm not. So, yeah. Bless you, Dougie. <gasps> Kitty. Yeah. But who knows? Who knows? So yeah. Let's see how it goes. It's cloudy, but not too much. I'm glad it rained so it feels so good. Oh god. Let's see how it goes, guys.
let's see how it goes guys let's see what happens to the remainder this year Have a good one.